Hey guys, VBad here with another V Plays, and we're taking a look at the A26B. And the A26B Invader is an interesting tier 6 premium aircraft that is also being sold in that cheaper bundle for the XF85. So I figure we might as well cover the aircraft since it it does exist and you know probably an interesting bird to pick up at some point if you guys ever decide to grab one the reason i say that is that the a20 oh man that's a lot of specialized players on one team i already feel bad for what's about to happen um we'll do an 07 anyways so this thing of course being a premium means that i can throw whatever crew i want in here so this has my b32 crew in here which means that they've got nine skill points across the board and they do fairly well for themselves especially in this area <laughs> especially in this airframe. Uh, now, we also get 650 cals in the nose. And the reason we get 650 cals in the nose is because this aircraft is an A26B. The A is supposed to be for attack aircraft. This aircraft was actually designed as an attack platform, but the United States Air Force had abandoned the idea of attack aircraft. But luckily for the company that designed the airframe, it was also marketed as a fast light bomber. And as such, we get it as a bomber in game, but we still get this 50 cals in the nose. Uh, this was used well after World War II and was used all the way through the 1960s as a counterinsurgency platform, uh, mostly because it had so many different configurations. There was a version with wingtip fuel pods, and it also had a bunch of rocket pylons underneath the wings, so this thing could carry air-to-ground rockets. It could also be equipped with gun pods actually in the wings, so you could get an extra 850 cals just on the wings. There's a bunch of different gun configurations for this thing, and I do highly recommend taking a look at, um, just doing a Google search. Do a Google search for this airframe and guns, and you will find that there's some wacky stuff going on with how they were able to configure this. Yeah, that's right. Get out of here. The tail gunner is a really interesting deal too, because check this out. Yeah, we can fire in front of the wing a little bit. It's a crazy wide firing arc on this platform, so it makes it a bit of a formidable aircraft when it comes to its ability to <laughs> really take the hurt to the enemy. All right, let's... Uh, we're going to do a sweeping turn here. This thing drops in clusters of four 100-pound bombs, so it's not going to be the most accurate platform but we again have this thing specialized so it's kitted out pretty nastily oh i accidentally hit spacebar there Ugh. we get a lot of damage out of this aircraft we also have gone with some pretty powerful gunners that can range out really far well, look at this we're almost out to what would be a thousand meters and we're still firing on this aircraft and oh by the way i'm now circling him like a gunship so i can get a kill one down. And now I'm out of the zone. He's going to break off. And we can go finish him off in a second because we've already reloaded the aircraft. And I can go back after the target I just missed with my bombs. Because I accidentally hit the button too early. There's another drop. We can throw some over here. And, man, we, like, barely missed this site. Okay, T. Now, oh, you're back again? Yeah, this would be the last thing you were going to do anyways. Um, yeah. Guess I'll check out. <laughs> nice, I'm getting viewers. Okay, um, yeah, Faka Wolf, not a good thing to find. This thing's got a ton of forward firepower. Um, hopefully we can get a crit on this pilot. Uh, crit on his engine, that'll keep him from chasing us. Pull the gunner back up. You're fine, you're fine, everything's okay. Situation normal. Small reactor leak. Okay, cool. Getting those crits makes aircraft break off. Uh, that's something I actually picked up, uh, trolling the forums, guys. I didn't know that was... I never had correlated that if you get a crit, 
spots break off from your aircraft, but uh, apparently that is a thing, so. This is going to be an interesting one. Am I going to engage? I'm not going to make this. This isn't going to happen. But we, we can respawn and come back. We lost our pilot. Uh, and our engines. Uh... <laughs> I knew that was going to happen, but I wanted to. I wanted to change a pace. Uh, let's. We'll respawn at the typical spawn and we'll go for the command center again. Uh, it's a fun aircraft. Um, I do like my B-17G though. It, it's mostly because it's a very iconic aircraft and again it's a model I built with my father when I was younger. Um, but the A-26B is a... V I started looking into like its development, its history in order to do this video and man you'd be surprised at the wacky stuff that they did to make this thing viable. <laughs> There's a D in good, isn't there? Oh. Okay. All right. Bombs out. Hopefully that's good placement. I'm dropping a little bit in the front and I'm actually breaking when I'm doing this bombing and arcing a little bit when I drop so I get a good spread. See how that goes. And I'm not as concerned about getting all of a site when it's already a red site. Um, what I'm more interested in is getting a good spread of damage, which it looks like... Looks like we actually had a pretty decent run on that one. But this aircraft, again, I am specialized. We're getting maximum damage out of this thing, so... Oh, good. They Not air supremacy. Maybe I'll go fight some aircraft. Let's go fight some aircraft. Um... But you're not going to have the same results with your bombs, okay? Not at these altitudes either. I find dropping bombs at probably at around 4,500 feet is probably a lot better. Uh, just because the accuracy with the spread of dr the way that these bombs are dropping. Uh, one thing I don't like about this aircraft is you don't actually get a zoomed in gun sight. You just like zoom in over your own shoulder. So. Hi there, buddy. I'm just going to throw some shots in him. I, want, I don't want the kill. We can give that to our buddy. No, he left. Okay, I guess I do have to kill him. There we go. Is this multi-roll on my heavy? Oh, it's a Yak-9. This will hurt. Oh no, he's moving away. Am I really chasing down a Yak-9? Why not? Wait till we get close. Don't maneuver. Don't mind me. I'm just a heavy aircraft. <laughs> Oh, yeah, A-26B. It's a bit of a monster. There was a ton of specialized aircraft. That's crazy. I can't believe that. That's That feels... I feel dirty. But at the same time, I feel like it was a good showcase of the aircraft's capabilities. I, I mean, we did a whole bunch of different things. We bombed some targets. We did some tail gunner work. We got into a, uh, an engagement using the forward guns a couple of times. It'll catch people off guard. People think, oh, bomber... But when you all of a sudden kick your nose around and decide that you're going to shoot the heavy that was ignoring you because he was going after a B-17, he goes, uh, I'm going to go after the B-17, I'll deal with the A-26, and oh my goodness, he's behind me and he's shooting me. It's, it's a surprising encounter, so anyways, uh, this is the A-26B. It's a weird aircraft with an awesome history. The setup I went with when I specialized this thing was... Um, I went with the boost injection mixture so I could get better climbs, so I could get back up to altitude because I found myself diving to get airspeed as I went into zones. I went with the uh, turret gun sight to get some extra range, and as you see, we've rolled for critical damage to try and break people's wings. And then we also have the bomb sight because it increases the accuracy, but also it has the ability to roll for increased bomb damage. And I like having the accuracy. It means that those bombs went where I needed them to go. But again, the higher you get without having a bomb sight, the more the spread's going to be. So you see, I'm getting a 27% buff 
to how tight that cluster of four bombs is going to drop. So your mileage will vary until you're able to specialize this. And it takes a lot of time to specialize a bomb. I went with the gun sight because I like to be cheeky with this thing. I have found that this configuration for consumables works great for me. Uh, so you're definitely going to want to have Demolition Expert on any of your bomber aircraft straight up uh, but again i've been finding that getting crits on enemies using precision gunner is actually going to help a lot I, I still advocate going with defensive fire expert uh, just because that's going to increase the survivability of a, especially your fortress bombers but uh, i've been really goofy lately and i just wanted to try out maximizing range and being a real jerk about it so it seems to be working out fairly well and we were able to take out some aircraft nearly off our beam with that huge tail gunner fire arc. Uh, we were able to pump out a decent amount of damage to aircraft. We actually got two kills, one against a multi-roll and one against a defense aircraft while still destroying 10 ground targets, netting us uh, 375 capture points. Yeah, when attacking sectors, there we go. Uh, and yeah, 41,000 ground damage. That's not bad for tier six at all. I'm, I'm proud of that result. And since it's a premium, we are going to be bringing in some extra credit as a result of that as well. And since it does have a tail gunner position, you'd be able to use it to train up some of your American bomber crews. So if they ever decide that they're going to release the rest of the American bomber line, you have a training platform. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll catch you on the next one.